All right, the uh, president has arrived in Tampa, Florida, where we're waiting to hear from them. And so the thousands who gathered to, to get a chance to hear from him. Uh, Joe Biden a little, a little later in nearby Broward County. Uh, not, not too nearby, I should point out, but that's coming up on the other side. The state will keep you posted with that. In the meantime, keep you posted on uh, good economic news. You heard about the record run up in GDP in the latest quarter. Um, uh, people were expecting it to be strong. They weren't expecting it to be 33.1 percent strong, it was essentially wiping out the 31 percent decline we had in the second quarter. That's on an annualized basis here. But we go from the worst quarter in American history to the best quarter in American history. And then optimism about holiday sales. Keep in mind, you got Amazon, right, already hiring 100,000 folks for the holiday to deal uh, with the crush of, of new business and a host of others that are already offering more of these uh, big sales, uh, you know, like within a matter of days to encourage buyers. And they're finding plenty of ample demand there. Let's get the read on all of this with Aaron Sykes, a retail analyst extraordinaire. You know, you get different reads on this, Aaron, from some that aren't so optimistic to others that are quite literally betting and paying up front um, for what they think will be BAFO business. Who's right? Well, you know, it's all relative, right? So we do expect a 33% increase in spending this holiday season year over year. That's almost double the rate of an increase that we have seen in the past. And last year is actually a really strong year. So it's saying a lot. However, as you just mentioned, we've got 33% GDP growth in Q3, but we only expect 4% growth in Q4. Now, this is still almost double uh, what we were seeing eight years ago. So I think that you can always make a case either direction, but I do think we're in for a very strong holiday season. That might be why the UPS CEO was talking about a busy holiday shopping season and that it'll have trouble just keeping up with all the demand. But I wonder, you know, Aaron, these reports of spikes in cases, the, 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 the lockdowns that are going on in Europe, nothing as severe as the height of the pandemic, I should add. But enough that, that, you know, it's giving people pause. Even if it never comes to materialize, we experience something like that. Does it give people, you know, a reason to wait a minute, wait a minute, I, I, I don't know if I'll spend so much. I don't know if I'll spend at all. It's actually quite the opposite because we are not expected to have these big holiday gatherings. We're not going to go and have as many experiences outside the house this year. So people are instead putting their money towards buying gifts and um, making sure their loved ones feel taken care of and appreciate it through sending them gifts. So that's part of uh, why we also see everything kind of shifted up this year. So. Black Friday is still an event, but really over the, year, the years, we've seen Black Friday, Cyber Monday, then it became Cyber Week. Now we have Cyber <laughs> Months, plural. So we already started our holiday shopping earlier. This year. Mm -hmm. Amazing. All right, Aaron, thank you very much. Aaron Sykes following all of that. So a lot of optimism. That's interesting. You don't get together with grandma or a big Thanksgiving gathering. You buy her stuff instead. Yeah, I bet there's some strategy to that. A little more right after this. Dow up about 200 points.